We're going to take a look at a 1929 Royal 10 today. We love Royal 10s. It's the, the most popular style of Royal, I would say, um, and very iconic. So I do have another Royal 10 video out there. I don't think it's the same year, but each one I think has something slightly different. And we're going to take a look at that today. So first of all, um, if you get a Royal 10, please make sure you get the dimensions because they're big and you want to make sure you have the right space for them. And they're heavy um, and it's very expensive to ship them, but it's so worth it because they're beautiful machines. To set the margins, they're in the back here and we can take a look at that by lifting up this metal plate. Here are your margin sets and you just push and then drag it to where you want it. Okay the plate back down. Margin, your carriage release are going to be these flat metal tabs right here and you can hear the bell. Sounds real nice. Your metal spools for your ribbons are right here so which means since these are the original spools you're going to have to hand wind new ribbon onto them which we have done for you. This ribbon will last you a long time so you'll get to the end of the spool and then reverse directions and just keep using it back and forth till it's till you've uh, used up all the ink and then you can replace the ribbon and you open up to access your spools right here these are bigger than a universal ribbon so either way you're going to have to hand wind this or if somebody is selling royal 10 spools you can find those as well okay so down here this is where you reverse the direction of the spool. So if you watch this carriage, and I'm gonna move the carriage and it'll show you which direction that this is moving. So, so it's turning this way. So I'm gonna flip that, let's try this again, and it should turn counterclockwise now. There it goes. So I can unwind it a bit. All right, so I'm gonna flip it back over. Your color selector is here. So there's black and then red. Now sometimes, there we go. So see how um, this is what we haven't figured out how we're doing it. Somehow we're locking the keys and um, they have locked for me whenever I've adjusted the direction on the ribbon or the color. So it has something to do with what I'm doing up here. But you can easily unlock it um, this is the bar that locks the keys and so you just pop this bar up and that releases the keys okay just so you know um, and if somebody's watching and you know how we're actually engaging that lock uh, let us know because uh, right now it's just uh, by accident but I'll, all I know is every time I've messed somehow with the carriage and changing the directions of the spools, I've somehow locked it. And then um, if there's a better way to unlock it, let us know, but it's, it's actually pretty easy. Let's go ahead and do our typing demo. Such a pretty machine. I love the sound. This has a really neat sound to it. it has the original keys, the glass with the, the glass keys with the the metal rings. I love how some of the keys are yellowed with age. Really adds to the character of it, but you can still read them. They're still in decent shape, but for being almost 100 years old, I mean, it's in excellent condition. Uh, what was I doing? Okay, shift lock. Oops.
I could totally see a screenwriter sitting on here, somebody typing up a play, a screenplay or something like that. Playwright. Oh, let's do a backspace. I hit the wrong letter. Jumps. There we go. A fiction writer, a mystery writer. I mean, there's just something totally um, mysterious even about uh, one of these typewriters. I just love it. It makes writing fun. Fantastic. Beautiful typewriter. Types so well. It's in great working condition. You're going to love this. And uh, be sure to look at the images we have for this particular typewriter on our Etsy shop. You can see the glass, single glass panes on the side. Obviously, there's a little bit of uh, just uh, paint chipping right down here, but it's a beautiful machine if you've got one i hope you love it the decals are usually right here sometimes we've noticed people paint over the decals i don't know why um, but this particular one still has the decals on it. it has the decals on the back and royal tens if you don't have one you need one thanks so much for watching have a great day